the pandemic. Ahead of Earth Day later this month, we are taking a look at climate change in our communities. Today, we're exploring the Guadalupe Nipomo Dunes, and they are located three hours north of Los Angeles, just south of Pismo Beach. The nature Preserve stretches along 18 miles of the California coastline and covers 24 square miles. Climate change and rising sea levels could have a significant impact on one of our state's rarest coastal ecosystems. This is an extraordinary uh, coastal habitat. It's probably one of the, the globe's most intact and largest dune ecosystems. Where we're standing right now is, in, is right on top of a, a coastal uh, lake. Osaflaka Lake is truly beloved by this community and beyond. This is a lake that's freshwater lake close to the coast. That's rare now. Those used to be up and down the state of California and probably 90% of those coastal lakes are gone now. And the public made a big investment to protect this place and really transform it into this network of conservation areas. This location is actually a really uh, important location to the city of Guadalupe. Not only is it um, a beautiful setting as we can all see out here, but it's also um, one of the most, probably most affordable places that our residents can go to. There's fishing, there's uh, beach going, so there's beach access out here as well. Um, if you're in a wheelchair, if you have kids, you want to put them in a stroller, you can get almost to the, all the way out to the beach um, without having any mobility problems because of the board walk that was created here years ago. Just to be able to drive up three miles, um, you know, north of, of town, I'm able to escape and be a part of this beautiful setting. To find a freshwater lake this close to the ocean um, is not only really unusual, it attracts a lot of wildlife. This area is considered the best birding area in all San Luis Obispo County, um, and over 300 different species have been cataloged here. This place, you know, uh, provides habitat and uh, sort of the natural systems that a lot of these species depend on. It's uh, one of the top two most important areas for snowy plovers. Uh, least terns use this area. This uh, type of habitat is has really been highly impacted both in the state of California and across the globe. And there is this large array of biodiversity, plants, birds, and animals uh, that depend on these habitats. Osoflaco is a small part of a very large um, dune system called the Guadalupe Nipomo Dunes Complex. The local hazard mitigation plan for the Oceano Community Services District that came out about a year ago identified operation of this vehicle ramp at the end of Pier Avenue as increasing the risk of sea level rise and tsunamis to the community of Oceano. Rising sea levels pose real threats to that town. It could mean future flooding. Um, and so there are pockets of the dunes that are going to be very vulnerable. There's been a lot of gloom and doom talk that if the driving and the beach and the off-roading go away, it's going to crash the local economy. But that was not the case. Uh, even during COVID, even during travel restrictions, tourism was up in Oceano and in the surrounding communities in the county. So uh, it, people have seen a different future now. And that future is bright if the Coastal Commission's requirements for state parks in their coastal development permit are actually implemented. So I'm hopeful for that future to come to pass. This area really represents great hope when it comes to climate change. This is a place, if well preserved, can um, host this wildlife and this biodiversity for a long time to come. And watch the hour-long special, Our America Climate of Hope, tomorrow at 9 p.m. right here on ABC7. You can also watch it streaming now on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, or Android TV. It will be on Hulu tomorrow. Still ahead, we're celebrating the magic of storytelling. Also